What's up guys, it's Farhan here with you. In this video, I'm gonna be going over getting HDR photos with the Mini 3 Pro. Fall weather is here, it's a nice beautiful day. Time for sunset, perfect time to get some HDR photos. So I'm gonna go over tips and settings that I use out in the field to shoot the photos with the Mini 3 Pro. And then I'm gonna go over my workflow of combining these photos in post. So make sure to grab a coffee or tea and let's get into it. And just to mention that I'm also going to be using a CPL filter. Now this I usually use for landscape photography and to get some more rich color and mostly to remove glare and from reflective surfaces. Now I am here by the lake so there's a lot of reflection. It is a sunny day. So um, yeah. Now if you're interested in these make sure to hit the link in the description below. I put the Freewell CPL filter on and I've twisted it to vertical because that's uh, the most amount of polarization you can get in vertical and if you want horizontal you can twist it to horizontal so I want it for Instagram and Twitter well mostly Instagram so I'm just gonna leave it at vertical and shoot vertical photos now that I'm in vertical mode I'm gonna go into photos and I'm gonna choose AEB auto exposure bracketing and I'm gonna choose 5 so what this does is instead of you having to manually come into the pro settings and choosing um, an under um, choosing a shutter speed that underexposes your photo then properly exposes your photo then overly exposes your photo overexposes your photo and then combining them AEB does that all for you but what I do is I leave my AEB settings at you know minus 0 0.3 and I just leave it at that so obviously I don't need to say this enough but tap to focus and shoot and then it shoots five photos in different exposure modes for you now you can also take a look at these in your album so you just hit the play button there and it loads up and you'll see the AEB photos right here and this is the low res preview but it's got five photos in there I just wanted to take the time to mention that if you're finding any value in this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up because it really helps out this video and this channel. Now it's gotten a little cloudy, but and the sun's the sun's blocked out a little bit, but still there. Uh, just before this, I was using I was uh, filming the video for the DJI Avada's ND filters from Freewell. If you haven't yet already, make sure to check out the link in the description below. There's some nice shadows over here, so I'm just gonna try and play with it. And I'm also gonna use it in HDR. done taking photos so now it's time to get back home and uh, get these photos out and start merging them so I'll see you in a bit okay guys I'm back home and I've imported the photos into Lightroom which is what I use to edit photos so um, these are the five photos in AEB all in different exposures as, as you can tell over here the shadows have more detail but the highlights are blown out and in this one there's barely any details in the shadows and you know the highlights are maintained very well and these expo these exposures have a blend of both here there's a little bit of detail in the shadows not so much in the highlights here you have a little bit of detail in the shadows the highlights are pretty good but still a little blown out and here as well so if you can, if you look at the top right corner over here, right below the histogram, you'll see the exposures, 1 over 800, 1 over 1250, and 1 over 500, 1 over 2000, and 
1 over 320. So these are the five shots I took. Now I, I choose five AEB because I get to get like more exposures. Um, five is better in my opinion, but you can always do with three. And also because you know sometimes it's windy and the Mini 3 Pro is you know it's a tiny drone, it might get pushed around, so you don't want the image to turn out a little blurry. So you can work out with you know you can work with maybe four or even three photos. So that's another reason I shoot in five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit shift from one to five and select these five. Then I'm gonna click and choose photo merge and HDR. That's how simple it is. Now of course, um, I do not use auto settings, but if you want to just see what it looks like, um, just see what the HDR pre merge preview looks like, um, you know, you can turn on auto settings and you know, that's what it looks like in settings now you can use auto align as well if you want like I said sometimes when you're shooting AEB with a drone it can be it can get pushed around it can move a bit so you know it might be misaligned a little bit um, so you can turn that on or leave that off it's up to you now I'm gonna hit merge and just wait for it to create the HDR image which is here um, just um, I'm gonna edit the photo in a bit but just to give you a quick example of what it looks like like I'm just gonna hit auto settings and this is what it looks like I just wanted to share a um, quick few tips um, now that I'm done editing this HDR photo um, I'll just copy these settings like everything that I use for this including the crop and let's say I come to this one and I paste the settings this is how it looks and this is how it looks on the HDR, this is how it looks on the normal RAW file. Let's say I come to one of these and um, let's say this one and I paste as well. It looks good but not as good as this. So there's still, I mean there's still the difference of dynamic range. Like when you're in tricky lighting situations it's always, always better to shoot in HDR. Like if you're unsure of like the settings that you want to shoot in, how you want to expose your um, how you want to expose your photo it's always better to um, you know just shoot an HDR you don't have to merge them but you can always you know choose the best exposure that you want in in that set and see which one works out for you see this single photo looks pretty good um, you know with the same settings I used but still this one this one looks slightly better this one looks a little more better like I said there's just more dynamic range when you um, when you shoot when you shoot photos in uh, HDR um, it's just so much more better I feel like it's just more vibrant especially when you're shooting sunrises or sunset it's just or sometimes even certain landscapes you know just look so much better and the mini 3's camera is, is pretty impressive um, you know it's got a lot of detail so much detail in the shadows and overall pretty good so Guys, if you enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.